Columbus. Free kick, FC Columbus. Paniagua, the guy who makes the moves in the middle of the field, who definitely controls and determines the future of the FC Columbus. <coughs> yeah, watch this, watch this. He's going to try to hit it to the back post. And uh, he has already three or four guys who are coming in, running into the back. And it is, uh, what do you think is going to show this right here? Is it going to be Ezra, Armstrong, or Jonathan Paniagua? Paniagua. Paniagua is going to hit it with his right, and then he's going to curl it. To the back. Well, I guess it's going to be Ezra who's going to take oh. his shot right here. So Should he's be. getting ready. Is he so going to go in as a pass? He's going to go into the ball. And takes a long kick right there into it, but it is far away from the kick. You know, that's funny. Uh, similar thing in the two World Cups ago when Ronald Higgins took a free kick against, uh, I forgot it was Germany or England. And uh, they line up for uh, in the back post for a cross, and he hit it right into the right corner of the field. It was a beautiful goal from 35 Now, somehow it is a corner kick right here, so we will see this corner kick, and it is Paniagua who's going to take this draw. Kick this kick in. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Yeah, he's a uh, tremendous ability to serve that ball. He's fun to watch. Paniagua gets ready. He made the point, made the call right in the middle of the field, puts it out, <clears throat> and he. It went that ball went into Joseph Nasir, but that's it. So the pressure from the defender puts it back into another uh, corner kick. You know, that's not a bad idea. Uh, send it low like that. I mean, it's take it for the price. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Paniagua gets ready to take that kick. They're trying to keep the yeah. trying to blind and keep it out. It is a throw in right there inside the box, but it is well rejected by the defender of FC Indiana. Paniagua controls the ball, plays back right there with James Moore. James Moore plays with uh, Ezra, but he misses the ball and it is well controlled by the, our number four Kenny Giavanu. You see where our Kenny Giavanu plays with James Moore. James Moore controls the ball right there. He looks up. Right there, he finds uh, Joseph Nasir. Nasir back to James Moore. James Moore moves the ball back to Wesley. Wesley controls the right there with Ezra. Ezra moves the ball around the middle of the field. Paniagua is right there, and he just moves the ball smoothly and slowly. Very good. And finds um, Mamadou Diallo. It's going to be hard for these guys because they're chasing the ball. And, Way uh, well out to James Moore. Makes a long throw there, but it is flat, so he doesn't. Get and it is rejected by the number six defender. Um, Throw in FC Columbus. The play is now with the ball for Juan Paniagua. Moves the ball right there looking for Camara. Camara controls the ball, oh. but he goes from the ground. And it is uh, FC Indiana is slowly controlling the ball right there in the 30 yard line. You know, but loses it to Paniagua. Paniagua makes the ball right there into um, Wesley, but he can get to it. And then it is Charles who is tackled by the number six um, for FC Indiana. FC Indiana controller ball for your line. It is the first time that FC Indiana has the, the half line controlling the ball. Corner kick, FC Indiana. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible. Actually, yeah, that was the first time that they somehow touched the ball inside the half of the And it field. was Stanley Sandoval who made the move right there from the inside the 40 yard line, was able to run with the 20 yard line, but he couldn't control the ball right there because of the pressure of bloody new Babagool. It is a corner kick right there for FC Indiana, right there into the AR, but it is well defended by uh, James Moore. And it goes into a, a throwing. Throwing, FC Indiana. Yeah, it's incredible how um, Brandon McCarley was going to take the throw, but instead he gave it back to number 22, Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams changed his mind and said, hey, Jimmy, why don't you take this throw in? So he made the long in inside, but it is well controlled. Oh, my goodness, what a, what a save for the FC Columbus when the defenders got confused right there, and it is Vladimir Bababu and Canyon who couldn't figure out what to do in the defensive line for the FC Columbus. Yeah, they're fighting in the back right now because they're blaming each other. Really, they, they, both of them going out of position. Now, it is the first time that I see FC Columbus you know, not being clear in a defensive line. Exactly. Uh, you know, the, 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 those laps can kill you, but uh, luckily enough, they get Charles out Charles looking for the ball. He gets the ball right there. He finds, um, you know, Nasir. Nasir plays it back to, you know, Charles. Charles move out to the ball right there. And he's playing with our friend on the field, the arrow in the back. And he plays right there with Ken Kamu. And can go play with Wesley. Wesley plays it back again with Charles. Charles moves it back to James Moore. James Moore in the 20-yard line. Makes a cross. 
but it is now what connected that is the defender Jimmy Rosado who puts it in the corner kick. Again, Rosen, the right hand side, is creating a lot of problems to that team. He always beating everybody to the end line. He needs to lift that ball instead of putting it on the ground. And again, FC Indiana is too slow for uh, FC Columbus offensive line. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Quickly, we'll play with Paniagua. Paniagua plays it with James. James put it back into the 20 yard for, you know, Charles. Charles moves it back to Ezra. Ezra makes a couple of moves, loses the ball right there with number um, seven, Costa. And it is uh, being pressured right there. And it is Vladimir Babu who controls the ball back for FC Columbus. Good, good job for Vladimir to come and get that ball back quickly. Camara plays the ball right there. He plays for well. Charles. Charles made a couple, couple of fakes. He finds James Moore, but he doesn't go there. He understands what was going on. Yeah, he has to communicate a little bit better. That's why the Vladimir is yelling from the field. Communicate, please. <laughs> FC Columbus again, you know, they just do Throwing the right FC Indiana. Thing. They're just doing the right thing and as moving the ball the way it is supposed to be. It is well played for the FC Indiana right there, but the 20 yard line it is Paniagua who gets the ball and it plays it with camera. Camera moves the ball right here, Ezra. Ezra makes a couple of moves, slow down, looks back, and finds Paniagua. <laughs> Paniagua the 40 yard line. They got to find a rhythm again when they were playing with Tiki Taki that was working out with them and they're making the team work. And Bunny Agua just made some beautiful long passes up and in the field. And I think that's the, what the coach has been indicated to Bunny Agua. He said, listen, I wanted to see the long passes outside and up in the field. They actually come almost fell outside. Kyle Bugai is going to take this uh, free kick for FC Indiana. Free kick, FC Indiana. So he looks up, gets ready, takes a run, makes the ball. Ball right there in the 40 yard line of the FC Columbus, but it's well controlled by our defensive man, FC Columbus. Nice Pania touch, the ball. nice touch by the backs, uh, just giving the ball to the midfielders, and that's what they need to do, just start. Uh, Keep control of the ball and make them run. And then camera control the ball in the 50 year line. Right there, he finds the ball. The ball of boots for Paniagua. Paniagua plays with Candy. Candy controls the ball. Richard Charlie gets the ball. Makes a long pass right there for James. James gets into the side. James Yards makes a long pass a little behind. Bennett is well beaten. What a pass by Charles Kangan, who finds James Moore, who makes a really great moving into the 20 yard line and makes a nice pass to Nasiri, who was a little bit behind ball, but he manages to control it. And as he puts it in, the defender just couldn't control it. Yeah, he did a great job because you're right, that ball was real behind him, but he was able to stretch the ball, bring it inside, and then basically pass it to the corner by, by the post. Absolutely. You know, you, you, so you here up. we are. Folks, on this hot summer afternoon, the concession stand is open. So here is FC to Columbus now, your thirst. zero for FC Indiana. And it we feels like for a minute that hot. the game is just going with a little Gatorade, motion, pause, snow, but it is FC Columbus who really holds the, the, the tempos of this game, and when they want to speed up, they speed up. Exactly. Uh, they're, they're basically calling in the pace of the game, which is that, but well, that's what great teams do. And it is a great move right here by Tony Allen, slowly plays the ball right there with can see he makes a long ball again for James Moore. James Moore gets into the 20 yard line. It is an outside situation. James Moore is just making a lot of struggles into this defensive line for FC Indiana. That's right, he's just killing these people in the right side of the field. Offside FC Columbus, Drake, FC Indiana. So, I don't know, Luis, but it just feels like for a minute that Penny Alvarez just really has a good IQ of this game. He really knows where to make those moves when he needs to. And not only that, but he has the legs to do it, man. He is a great kicker. But his vision of the game, it is Paniagua. Paniagua controls the ball. He looks for um, <clears throat> Mamadou Diallo. Controls the ball right there with um, Vladimir Bababu. Back to Paniagua. Paniagua finds himself with Wesley. Wesley moves the ball right there to Charles. Charles makes a, ba a fake. Uh, supported right there with Wesley. Wesley backing into um, Nasiri. Nasiri back to Charlie. Charlie plays with James Moore. James Moore plays the back right there with Nasiri. Nasiri makes a fake, pull back. Honey, I will control the ball. And it is right there who, Candy Pangliano, who plays the ball right there on the left side. I tell you that Pariagua distributes the ball in an amazing way. Uh, 
time after time. It's very little time so that he loses the ball. Right Steven Munoz for the defensive line for them saving Diana. Makes a long pass right there, and it is finding Brandon. Brandon makes a long pass right there looking for Costa. Costa gets the ball right there in the 20-yard line of the uh, Steve Columbus and makes a move inside the 20-yard. There is a ball that is well controlled by a defensive line. Again, a good way to uh, possess the ball, go to Rhodes, who he comes all the way back to get that ball. James Moore played with Charles. Charles played with Wesley. Nice connection between the two of them. Charles played the ball back to James Moore. James Moore keeps it in, makes the ball back to Charles. Charles plays it back. Wesley has it, makes a loop, looking for camera. It is a long pass. Little long, yeah, little long, but I, a good idea. He just uh, he had, had to put it a little more in the penalty shot area. But, uh, Costa James controls the ball for the FC Indiana, plays the ball right there with Brandon. Brandon, Lando loses the ball with Camara. Camara is tackled by Nasir. Nasir gets the ball back, and it is FC Columbus controlling the tempos of the game. Slowly, they just pressure when they need to pressure. That's right. Throw in FC Indiana. <clears throat> and here is Costa James making that, that pass right there, but it is controlled by Camara. Camara moves the ball right there to Charles. Charles gets the ball, but it is Wesley who controls it. Charles makes a fake. Charles controls it around the 20 yard line. Looks for James. James back come in, but it is Wesley who gets the ball. They give it back to James. James gets the ball in. Makes him over right there. Try to make an A, but it didn't work. Again, you know, I don't understand why they are uh, not taking care of more in that right hand side. I mean, he's open all day long. You know, um, yeah, I mean, James Moore just controls this right side of that um, FC Columbus. He's making the run when he needs to. The ball is in the field. Paniagua gets it. Support himself right there with Ezra. Ezra makes a fake, gets the player out, makes a long shot, and it is well controlled by uh, uh, Alex Samuel. Throw in FC Columbus. I'm sorry, FC, FC India. Mamadou looks at the ball, he's going to take the throw, but it is instead who is Alex who looks for that ball. But the way this uh, broadcast today is called to see over, really good friends from Columbus Aldea. Yeah, so it is great that we have a uh, supporter staff right here helping us with the transmission of this game. So Columbus Aldea, it is right there on uh, YouTube TV, and they are also on Facebook and FC Columbus. Um, it is Pacini who makes the move back to Charles. Charles make a look, make a fade, make a fade, make a fade, but the move he makes a pass, he doesn't make two. But he plays right there with Wesley. Wesley, the 20 yard line makes a shot, but it's worth controlling the keeper for FC Indiana. Now, Kyle um, Bouguet, who is the keeper for FC Indiana, he's been constantly, you know, working hard. This is one of those that is just, he has no way to take a break. Now, I don't understand why he continues to do the same play over and over. Now, he takes the long shots that are not going to win. You know, like they say, it's, it's insane to do the same thing all over and over again and expect different results. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Charles controlled the ball right there. He's supporting himself with Wesley. Wesley make a long pass for Pacini, but it is Cassini who couldn't get to that ball. Uh, it was a good idea. He just didn't have to send it a little wider so the guy can chase a little longer. Now, Siri read the play really well, but he just couldn't get Again, it. Again, no. look at that. This is crazy. Why is he... Can somebody tell this goalkeeper to change the way out his... Uh, play punny, play? punny to the sides and a little shorter. I know. Connie played the ball right there. Support we said with Ezra. Ezra played the ball with... Camera, camera supported by we said with Vladimir. Vladimir looks for Paniagua, but instead it is James who gets the ball. James gets the ball right here, and Paniagua shows up, and it's Wesley. Wesley back to Paniagua. Paniagua looks up, but a long shot, but instead he gives the ball wrong, but it is Ezra who controls it anyway. Out right there to Paniagua, middle of the field. And takes a look right there to James Moore. James Moore gets to the ball, and it is going deep into the 18 yard. He gets back inside, makes a deep inside, but it is missed by camera. And also Nasir, he didn't read the play, he went too deep, he didn't get to it. I mean, another great play by Morse. But don't these guys have to be figured out? I mean, nobody was asking for the ball, nobody was raising their hand. I didn't even have yelling and say, hey, you, you gotta communicate with the guy. FC Columbus control the tempers of this game, you know. Ezra right there with, with Charles, what a play. It is uh, good to see the practical soccer game that is FC Columbus is playing. Yeah, I mean, they're playing as good as any team from the MLS today. I think this is the first time that the FC Columbus keeper just
just if Masguru has touched the ball. He's a little bored back there. That's yeah. why he's walking around the 20, between the 20 and the 35 Paniagua yard line. Paniagua support himself right there with Cagney right there in the 50 yard line. Support himself with James. James looks up, goes back to Ezra. Ezra makes a move, takes out this layer, finds Masiri, makes the ball back to right there. But it is tackled by the Jimmy Ortiz, loses the ball, but it is well again controlled by Paniagua. Paniagua plays it right there with uh, uh, Vladimir. Vladimir looks up. It is now. Um, Charles, who tries to take the number 10 spot in the field, and it is looking out every single time to be supported by Pania. Well, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the uh, Columbus, FC Columbus doesn't really have to pressure a lot. I'm surprised the pressure as much as they are, but they can play around and nobody can take the ball away. When they're ready to make the move, you know, they can easily just make a struggle in this defensive line of FC in the end. What I like about it is that they're almost like working, this is like a practice now for them. Feel that way, you know, it looked like it was supposed to be a foul there on camera, but it was not. But it is well controlled with Vladimir. Vladimir plays it with Mamadou Diallo. Mamadou Diallo supports himself with Paniagua. Paniagua looks up and says, you know what, James, go for it. But you know, it is Wesley who goes to it. And James come out, takes the goalkeeper, but it's missing. And it is Steven Munoz who saves that Steven Diallo from the third goal. Yeah, the keeper came out at too late, and then, of course, he, uh, he had made contact with the player at that point. Lucky and again, what a great play by Paniagua, looking out for Wesley, who was right there Ooh. in the field. And it is got, oh my goodness, what a, goal, what a different play right here with um, Charles missing that play. And then it is Kamala, who couldn't finish it. You know, Luis, what happened right there? I mean, it's interesting how the keeper loses the ball and um, Charles just couldn't finish it. They hit the post. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it was a so he are in the 24 minutes, and it is so hard that they are now here for a water break. Um, so Luis, you know, let's talk a little bit about the World Cup. You know, what a fascinating opportunity for these kids in this country, in the United States, to be able to enjoy real football being played at the level that is being played in this World Cup. You know, this has been an amazing World Cup, and we'll talk a little more about halftime about that, but I'll tell you what, it's been pretty even. Even the African countries brought a lot of soccer to the field. Uh, Although it is most disappointing in World Cup, in 36 years, they don't have a team that advances with the round of 16. Correct. And, uh, to be honest, with Senegal uh, tying uh, uh, Japan for the uh, second place, and then he played out to the yellow card. And you know what? That's one of the rules that has changed for this World Cup. You know, the teams that advance when they are in a tie break, it is the amount of penalties giving the fair play to a step up and, 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 and really, you know, emphasizing the importance of so, a couple of other things interesting for the World Cup, right? Well, one, one of the interesting things is that Messi and Ronaldo at home watching the games on their TV. Well, they are disputing what we saw that they're going to go to the game, game, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, on this World Cup, we only have one game so far of the first 48 games played. Only one game finished in that tight 0-0. Oh, what was that? Game. I don't recall. Yeah, that was the Denmark and... Oh, uh... The only thing is that, uh, how many teams have won all the teams? We have good, but I don't know how good that team is, because Argentina was in fact going to begin with. And they still scored three goals on them, so... Exactly, so that's my point. That yeah. I don't know about friends, you know, they, they are attacking the scrum, but defending, you know, they also strike. Well, uh, I mean, they have the two, one of the two best forwards in the league, in, in Europe, which is uh, the Bala, yeah, and the, in Griezmann. But, uh, I don't know defensively what they have. And that's one of the problems that we were talking earlier before the game about the South American teams, they have some great players up front and midfielders, but we have usually, and that a really good discipline, really good discipline um, um, players at the field. So you figure uh, we need to, for example, Colombia, we're going to have to play very disciplined against a team from England that is going to be attacking us, long balls and things like that. So we really have to be aggressive in every way, shape, or matter. Absolutely, Luis. It is going to be a differentiator. Now that you're in the, in the knockout stage, you know, 
Colombia has to play very disciplined against this offensive line. You know, Kane is a solid, you know, a striker, and he's right now fighting for the golden boot because the other contenders are out, you know. So now we have just a few players that are competing for the golden boot. Okay, and the game restarted already, and so we'll be back after the, um, coming back after the water break. And it is James Moore who is going to take this corner kick. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Well, but you Paniagua, you know what, yeah. Paniagua, you know. You know, Paul Paniagua, go ahead and take this corner <laughs> kick. You're much better than me, so let's go ahead and do it. Paniagua is ready to take the kick. He goes on. Speed up. Make a long pass with it. Put your line. Oh, oh, what a well cross. By Brandon Adams. You know, and it is Ezra who controls the ball right there, and it looks like for, um, you know, George just looks up and he finds Ezra. Ezra around the 20 year line of the FC Indiana. It plays with James Moore. James Moore plays back in there with Ezra. Ezra in the 40 year line in the middle of the field. Makes a long run right there for, you know, um, uh, Ezra Amsterdam, but he couldn't get to it. And then he's Mamadou Diallo. Fighting in there with um, Costa James for the FC Indiana. Again, uh, uh, FC Columbus put a lot of pressure on that uh, defensive line of FC Indiana by coming with numbers, tremendous amount of numbers. Eight, nine players in the box. Charles made the move to Paniagua. Paniagua looks back, looks for Ezra. Ezra plays right there, supporting his dad with um, Naziri. Naziri back to Paniagua. Naziri made the move. And it is Charles shows me the long oh. pass, but a receiver couldn't read that play. Yeah, he was looking for more, but more didn't uh, make the right on top. Goal kick, FC Columbus. It's interesting. You see the the, the demeanor that they haven't. Uh, they're down to zero, and they look like they're winning five zero. They don't even want to clear the ball well, out the back. They know the, the, what they're capable of. FC Indiana realizes that FC Columbus is a much stronger, solid team that plays the ball really well. So it is hard for you to try to even think that you can go and attack FC Columbus when they don't know how to defend. Okay, it looks like FC Indiana getting ready to do a substitution. What's the uh, number eight on the lineup? We will see in a second as they give us the information on FC Indiana, but it is Ezra who takes a call and he finishes. Goal! FC Columbus! What a great finish, and it is uh, again, you know, when the FC Columbus wants to, you know, pressure FC Indiana, they just can do it in a very nice and fashion way. Yeah, that looked too easy, but hey, we'll take it. I tell you what. Uh, finishing a strong game here is going to be huge for us. We're only in the 31 minute. Uh, we lead in 3-0. Uh, the good thing about the um, the the goals is that, like I say, we de deal with this like another practice. So. Right, and they need this. You know, I think FC Columbus need to get uh, an opportunity to be able to. So what was that kick right there for number four, the Stalin Zandalon? I'm not sure who, who was looking for. It just looking I, for a break. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what was going on, but uh, it was just a total lack of uh, concentration on that thing. You know what they say in the, in the, in the soccer world, when in doubt? Just take it out. Yep. Yep, yep, and you know, it's not like they are dominating, but it is. Charles, who puts the ball right there, controls him, makes a couple of moves, plays right there with the number 12 for the FC. Columbus, Columbus, made back and race, race is a long pass, but it is out, and he goes into the throw-in for FC Indiana. Throw-in, FC Indiana. Well, it's interesting, too, because of... Uh, what a beautiful day to come out and watch a soccer game. It is 94 degrees in the stadium of Anderson Field where the, you know, Grandview plays. Um, but it is this type of um, temperature that really, you know, pushes us, um, you know, the, the human body, you know, to <laughs> right. deal with the physicality that they have to deal with. Well, you're from my hometown in Colombia. You know how hot Cali can get. Absolutely. So, but, but, you know, playing in this kind of field is a different story. Right, you know, right. What is the temperature in there? 110? 110, 112, yeah. It's usually about 10 degrees higher. So, again, it is a sequel almost. You control the ball really well. And it is um, Diallo who tried to find the ball right there, but he loses it to a number 18 presses his um, <coughs> Vladimir. Nice, nice pass back with a header pass back to the keeper. That's a smart thing to do. 
and that way you keep the keeper in the box and uh, you'll be able to do, deliver uh, yeah, that goal. He receives it, very nicely controls it. It is pressure, but he makes a couple of moves. He tries to take a shot, but he plays out with Paniagua. Paniagua is right there in the 30 yard line. He tries to take a shot, but he won a witch over that. I'm not sure exactly what he tried to do there. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a pass. That was a shot from 35 yards. As hard as he can hit it, he didn't look like he was trying to hit it very hard. Is the Indiana keeper going to take a long shot again? And yeah. Exactly the same thing. I'm not sure exactly what he's expecting to get out of those long. Well, I tell you, Vladimir in the back, man, he is solid in the air. It's very hard to get through to him. I think he's uh, one of the best defenders I've seen in the, uh, for Columbus uh, FC, for FC Columbus, because of uh, he just controls everything in the back. That's awesome. For the Aniago team. played the ball with the pitch your line, supporting himself with Vladimir. Vladimir looks at the ball. He says he says it's extra, but he doesn't see it. You know, he loses the ball, and it is... Um, um, Stan, he plays the ball right there, and he tries with it, but it's in an outside situation. And this is the first time the number 18, Alalu, La, La the pole for FC Indiana has an opportunity to. Outside FC Indiana, free kick, FC Columbus. Camara plays the ball right there, supporting it with Vladimir. Vladimir looks up, and he's a comic, takes the ball, relax. He finds Charles. Charles looks at the ball. He says, you know what, I'm going to play with you slowly. Takes it back, James Moore plays the ball easy and finds Paniagua. <laughs> Pepsi, Indiana, keeper control the ball, takes a long shot, but it doesn't go anywhere more than the 50 year line. It is Vladimir who heads it. Hits it back right there into Charles, but he doesn't get to it. And it is Aston in Sandoval who plays the ball, but he gets Paniagua who, at the end of the day, gets the ball. James Moore plays it easy, slowly, takes a look, finds Charles. Charles says, you know what, Ezra, take it. No, it's the ten of that, you know what, um, help me, relax, take the ball easy, Vladimir. And Charles moves in the middle of the field. He says, you know what, I'm going to control this midfield from now on. Plays with Nasiri, Nasiri looks out for Diallo. Diallo says, no, you know what, I'm gonna play with Kadri. Only by right there with Ezra. Ezra looks for Paniagua. Paniagua has an ass for oh, the ball. Nice ball to the keeper, oh. The camera, but he doesn't get to. Again, uh, a long, uh, a long uh, pun by the uh, keeper that, um, you know, I think out of the 20 times that more or less that he has panned that ball, they have not one have a possession of that ball. Uh, it is clear that the FC um, Indiana is still trying to figure out what is the style of the game that they want to play. You know, I don't think that physically or technically they are at the level of the FC Columbus. Well, no, I, I mean, uh, it's obviously that that's the case, but, but uh, maybe just the talent is that Charles there. gets the ball, he plays it with James. James finds um, Chilling, Chilling gets the ball right there. He gets into the 10 yard line. He needs a couple of moves with his back. He says, You know what, Charles? Take the ball. I make it fake. I make the ball right there. It's in between um, Jimmy Ortiz, but it is well controlled by the Steven Munoz. Steven Munoz supports himself with the number eight. You know, it's uh, Costa. Costa plays the ball right there up and up the field for Brandon McCarley. McCarley supports himself right there with Tevin, seven Costa. Costa looks for the ball. But it is right in the 20 yard line and he's looking for uh, Alao. Alao is there, but it's Kami who defended the ball really well. And James Moore coming in, and you know what? And you to rescue. Smart play, he doesn't want to force it there. It is FC Indiana trying to play the ball. It is the first time that the FC Indiana is playing the ball right there in the 40 yard lines of the FC Columbus. Yeah, that's a rare thing in the game. And then he does possession already Ezra now. Ezra gets the ball and plays with Diallo. And Diallo plays the ball right there with Ezra. Ezra supporting himself with Charles. Charles looks up and says, You know what? Aniagua, take it. No, yeah, James Moore. I like you to get the ball. And it is Charles. And, and, and uh, Nasir. And long ball for Charles, and it is James running into the ball, but it is too long, it goes into Elsa. Throw in FC Indiana. You know, yeah. 
as, uh, Luis, um, again, FC Columbus under this temperature, they just rotate the ball and they makes it more difficult for FC than the other. That's right. And uh, keep up the possession is just going to uh, add a little stress that they haven't already physically for the heat. And for the possession that uh, FC Columbus is uh, able to keep and maintain. Long ball by Sandawa from FC Indiana, but it was controlled by Cagney. Cagney is tackled by James. James gets the ball. Cagney says it's mine. And he plays right there with Ezra. Ezra looks at the ball, plays the center. Larry Mira right in the back. And it is Paniagua. says, you know, I take up this for you and let me play. Yeah, just at uh, this point, they, they, they should take it tack a little more and then just uh, capitalize on the. Cagney receives the ball right there. Charles Asbury, he gets it. You know, he says, you know what? Let's play right here. I made a couple of moves. Right. Find himself with chilling, chilling. It goes inside. Oh. But it's deep. What a, what a chance. Well received by the keeper. Well, well controlled by the keeper. Good defending. <laughs> When Charles and Chilling want to connect, they definitely do it in a very smooth fashion. That's right, uh, and, and that's what's happening uh, the whole throughout the game, so I think that's amazing. I think that Chilling had a great yeah. chance of scoring the full goal in here, but you know, at the end of the day, it is just a matter of controlling the game. Exactly. And uh, they're doing a good job controlling it right there. James Moore in the 50 year line, in the right side line. He looks out for Charles. He says, You know what? I'm going to play with Chilling. Chilling takes a couple of moves, and it is Chilling who takes the ball. And Nasiri says, This is mine. Come on, give me a break. But James Moore makes him about, gets the ball right there, and he called it out. I don't think that ball was out, to be honest with you. Throw in FC Diana. Uh... Offside. FC Columbus free kick. FC Indiana's keeper come FC out to take his key. Kyle Bougain, he looks up, he says, you know what, I'm going to make a long, long shot. And I'm going to try to look for number 18 over the roof. But it's both, this goes out of bounds. Throw in FC Columbus. Yeah, you know, uh, again, like the, we were saying earlier, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe they don't have any options. Well, exactly. You know, they know that the defensive line of SC Columbus is too strong, and they just can't figure out how to get the right. It is, you know, <clears throat> Ezra, who plays the ball right there, makes inside the 20-yard line, goes in there, makes a pass right into center. Oh, my God, what a chance for Chile, who didn't get there, but it was. And Steven Munoz, who defended the FC. Um, Indiana from the number four goal. Yeah, that was some great moves that they have out there, and uh, that's uh, amazing that he Thank didn't score from there. Luis again, FC Columbus. Throw in FC Indiana. Easily, just as smooth. He just made the long pass, and right. they see the easy way of playing this game. You know, FC Indiana struggles to find to put two passes to them. Exactly. Again, Vladimir in the back was uh, clearing that ball, and then he had a great pass and uh, controlled that defenders. You know, it seems like Rose is playing right full back, but he's attacking so much, he's like a Marcelo out there. He's playing really well, uh, attacking, and he's making a lot of struggle in this defensive for FC Paniago plays the ball. So it's almost they feel like they're playing with three in the back, right? Because James kind of pushed up, yes, and right. Level and Paniagua is not playing, you know, uh, fullback, so he's a midfielder. So like he stays back. Yeah, he know, stays back. He plays both. Because know, he played those long right, right. Plus, he's now Siri plays the ball right there with um, James. James played back with Nasiri. Nasiri tries to take it over um, for James, but he doesn't move. Shelly tackles the ball, but it is Steven Munoz for the FC of Indiana who takes the ball out into the 40 yard line. And it is really easy for FC Columbus to defend. There is no one from the FC of Indiana attack. Exactly. There is not, they don't have it. I mean, geez, four, three minutes to go in the first half. Now plays the ball with um, Ezra. Ezra controls it with. Haniagua, back to Ezra, back to James Moore, and it is Charles with the big ball and says, you know what, just support myself with Ezra. That's the simple way. Long ball for, you know, Camara who gives him in, but it is well controlled by the keeper of FC Indiana. Hey, that was a good run. I mean, uh... And I don't know if that's the strategy that the FC Indiana has, but every single time the keeper gets the ball, he's looking for number 18, uh, Alu Ladapo. Who is marked by two of the three other players, so to, Never to, has been open. To, to be able to grab that, trap that ball with three people in U.S. is almost impossible. Aniagua easily controls the ball, pass it to Ezra, Ezra looks at um, Diallo, Diallo goes into it, controls the ball. 
well defended, well played. Makes a couple of moves, couple of fakes, gets into the 18 yard line, but loses the ball to um, Steven Munoz. Steven Munoz is very solid back in defense for the FC. Again, Vladimir out of the back was able to uh, uh, dispossess the guy from the ball and then it changed the whole, if you can say, counter attack. Uh, James Moore crosses is the number 24 FC in Indiana. Plays a couple of moves. Eh? He gets to those players, but he loses it to Chilin. Chilin gets into it. He goes in and he goes in. He doesn't want to take it. Oh. Oh, okay. Goal! FC Columbus! Wow. Goal! You know, Luis, what a beautiful play right there. That's how you control it. Then Chilling wins that tackle 50-50 right there. He gets into the 20 yard line. He sees the opportunity, goes to the defender, gets in and takes a long shot and the keepers are here coming. You know, the difference with that is, remember the first game that we broadcast that uh, he missed three opportunities on the uh, second half? Yeah. The difference today is that he's converting those into goals. And you know, once again, it is obviously that you are practicing something and there is a system that the FC Columbus is playing. They are trying to figure out the life of the game that they want to play, and they are showing it to them. Exactly. And uh, that's uh, uh, what a way to finish the season here in the uh, Grandview Stadium with a tremendous uh, uh, soccer lessons by FC Columbus. So FC Columbus winning 4 nothing in a very easy and slow fashion. Yeah, yeah. Um, Although that some of the goals have been magnificent. They have, um, yes, absolutely. Chilling presses the ball right here. Try to get in it, and it is uh, um, James Ortiz Rosario who tackles them, and it is going to be a throw in for Don't forget the uh, FC uh, Indiana. It is open for throw in the FC Indiana. Refreshment pleasure. Serving water, pop, Gatorade, hot dogs. Andy is half price off today because of the last regular season home Stanley game. Stanley gets the ball, looks out for and our pound of scarf and t-shirts are also at reduced out. prices today. Throwing FC Columbus. 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 James says the players are pulling some of Cogni right there in the return of their line. Looks for Paniagua. Easy, doesn't move, doesn't pressure. Paniagua, the guy with what is called bread and water. Yep, yep. Simple as that. You know, that defense line has been playing incredible. I mean, not one floor except for that, that little thing that happened in the uh, first 15 minutes, but uh, they've been just outstanding. They haven't had a lot of pressure on them. I'll, I'll yeah. give you that. But, but it's James who presses the ball right here in the 20 yard line, who looks a nice ball trying to burn a series, but it is Jimmy who dispenses the ball from the defensive line. Cogni gets it right there for Paniagua. Back again, the ball go back into um, FC Columbus. Nice, uh, nice start, but a little hard to pass and a little behind. Throw in FC Indiana. So, Luis, you know, I mean, it's like, I'm going to say 70% of ball control has been by the FC Columbus. I agree with you, if not more. Chilling gains the ball right there from uh, Sandoval. He plays it with Charles. Charles looks up. Oh, tries to get it through. You know, uh, Charles plays it easy and simple and play with James, who stuck it really well. Um, and it is a low who is uh, struggling with this foul from Charles. Oh, it looks like uh, one of the FC, Columbia, FC uh, Indiana is hurt. It, is a, it was a tackle right there, 50 50 between Charles and Alou, and Alou just didn't see it. You know, he wasn't ready for that tackle, and that's why he suffered that foul. But he, he didn't look at it, it was nothing serious. Vladimir played the ball right there with uh, Camara. Camara controlled the ball, you know, in the 45 minutes right there as we playing an extra time. And it's Cogni looking at the ball, 50 your line, says, you know what, relax. They just play a little simple here. Plays it with James Moore. James Moore back to his keeper. Keeper finally sees the ball and says, you know what, I can actually be part of this game. Tani in the middle of the field with Ezra. Ezra looks up, takes a couple of players out, makes a nice ball right here for Charles, who goes in into the 20 yard line. He gets in and make a long pass, and it is for camera, but it is behind, and yeah. he doesn't get to it. So instead, it is Costa James who gets the ball for, James Indian, for FC Vindiani. 
He gets right there by the wall, but he loses the ball back to camera. Nice kick uh, pass by uh, Paniagua to uh, give it back. Uh, FC Indiana struggles to put two balls, two passes together. Exactly. I mean, they just physically they seem out of it. Charles make a nice move into Ezra, but he doesn't get to it. Instead of it is uh, Jimmy Ortiz who gets to the ball and looks for Sandoval. Sandoval plays with number 18, Duau, who supports himself with number 16, Brandon McCarley. McCarley looks about where they're looking for Costa James. Costa James gets the ball back to Bradley. Bradley looks back and it is the first of the first half of this game, and it is FC Columbus for now. At the end of the first half, the score is. Yeah, that's kind of amazing uh, the way that they play. We're looking to have another second half. We're putting a lot of, play, uh, you know, pleasure on the players, and then uh, we'll um, we'll figure it going home. Right, but, but I don't know. I mean, friends look good, but I don't know how good that team is because Argentina wasn't that great to begin with. And they still scored three goals on them. So exactly. So that's my point. That yeah. I don't know about friends. You know, they they attacking is strong, but defending, you know, they also strong. Well, uh, I mean, they have the two one of the two best forwards in the league in, in Europe, which is uh, the Bala, yeah, in the in Griezmann. But uh, I don't know defensively what they have, and that's one of the problems that we were talking earlier before the game about the South American teams. They have some great players up front and midfielders, but we have usually, and that a really good discipline, really good discipline um, um, players at the field. So you figure uh, we need to, for example, Colombia, we're going to have to play very disciplined against a, a team from England that is going to be attacking us, long balls and things like that. So we really have to be aggressive in every way, shape or matter. Absolutely, Luis. It is going to be a differentiator. Now that you're on the right and the knockout stage, you know, Colombia has to play very disciplined against this offensive line. You know, Kane is a solid you know, a striker, and he's right now fighting for the golden boot because the other contenders are out, you know. Right. So now we have just a few players that are competing for the golden boot. Okay, and the game restarted already, and so we'll be back after the, um, coming back after the water break. And it is James Moore who's going to take this corner kick. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Well, but you Paniagua, you know yeah. What? Paniagua, you know. You know, Paul Paniagua, go ahead and take this corner <laughs> kick. You're much better than me, so let's go ahead and do this. Paniagua gets it ready to take the kick. He goes on. Speed up. Make a long pass with the 20 yard line. Oh, oh what a well cross. By Brandon Adams. You know, and it is Ezra who controls the ball right there, and it looks like for, um, you know, George. George looks up, and he finds Ezra. Ezra around the 20 yard line of the FC of Indiana. It plays with James Moore. James Moore plays back in there with Ezra. Ezra in the 40 yard line in the middle of the field. Makes a long run right there for, you know, to, um, uh, Ezra Armstrong, but he couldn't get to it. And then he's Mamadou Diallo. Fighting in there with um, Costa James for the FC Indiana. Again, uh, uh, FC Columbus put a lot of pressure on that uh, defensive line of FC Indiana by coming with numbers, tremendous amount of numbers. Eight, they nine players in the, the box. Charles made the move to Paniagua. Paniagua looks back, looks for Ezra. Ezra plays right there, supporting his dad with um, Naziri. Naziri back to Paniagua. Naziri made the move. And it is Charles, Charles made a long oh. pass, but the receiver couldn't read that play. Yeah, he was looking for more, but more didn't uh, make the right on top. Goal kick, FC Columbus. It's interesting. You see the, the, the demeanor that they have in, uh, they're down to zero, and they look like they're winning 5 0. They don't even want to clear the ball well, out of the back. They know the, the, what they're capable of. FC Indiana realizes that FC Columbus is a much stronger, solid team. They plays the ball really well. So it is hard for you to try to even think that you can go and attack FC Columbus when they don't know how to defend. Okay, it looks like FC Indiana getting ready to do a substitution. What's the uh, number eight on the lineup? We will see in a second as they give us the information on FC Indiana, but it is Ezra who takes a call and he finishes. Goal! FC Columbus! What a great finish, and it is uh, again, you know, when the FC Columbus wants to, you know, pressure FC Indiana, they just can do it in a very nice and fashion way. Yeah, that looked too easy, but hey, we'll take it. I'll tell you what. 
Uh, finishing a strong game here is going to be huge for us. We're only in the 31 minute. Uh, we lead in 3-0. The good thing about the um, the the goals is that, like I say, we de deal with this like another practice. So, right. and they need this, you know. I think FC Columbus need to get uh, an opportunity to be able to. So, what was that kick right there for number four, Estela Zandoval? I'm not sure who, who was looking for. Just looking I, for a break. Yeah, I'm not sure what what was going on, but uh, it was just a total lack of uh, concentration on that thing. You know what they say in the in the in the soccer world? When in doubt, just take it out. Yep. 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 And you know, it's not like they are dominating, but it is. And Charles, who puts the ball right there, controls and makes a couple of moves. Plays right there with the number 12 of the FC Columbus. Columbus made back with Rachel. Rachel is a long pass, but it is out, and he goes into the throw in for FC Indiana. Throw in FC Indiana. Well, it's interesting too because of. Uh, What a beautiful day to come out and watch a soccer game. It is 94 degrees in the stadium of Anderson Field where the, you know, Grandview plays. Um, but it is this type of um, temperature that really, you know, pushes us down, you know, the, the human body, you know, to <laughs> right. deal with the physicality that they have to deal with. Well, you're from my hometown in Colombia. You know how hot Cali can get. Absolutely. So, but, but you know, playing in this kind of field is a different story. Right, you know, right. What is the temperature in there? 110? 110, 112, yeah. It's usually about 10 degrees higher. So, again, it is a sequel almost. You control the ball really well. That, and it is um, Diallo who tried to find the ball right there, but he loses it too. And number 18 presses his um, <coughs> bloody nice, nice pass back with a header pass back to the keeper. That's a smart thing to do. And that way you keep the keeper in the box and uh, you'll be able to do deliver uh, yeah, that goal. The ball in the 40-yard line of the own field. Yeah. 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 James Jensen is there with Fanny Agua. Fanny Agua looks up and it's a long pass right now. Camera up. Camera, up. camera up goes into the ball. He receives it very nicely, controls it. It is pressure, but he makes a couple of moves. He tries to take a shot, but he plays down with Fanny Agua. Fanny Agua is right there in the 30-yard line. He tries to take a shot, but he wants to reach over right now. I'm not sure exactly what he tried to do there. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a pass. That was a shot from 35 yards out. And as hard as he can hit it, it didn't look like he was trying to hit it very hard. Is the Indiana keeper going to take a long shot again? And yep. Exactly the same thing. I'm not sure exactly what he's expecting to get out of those long Well, I tell you, Vladimir in the back, man, he is solid in the air. It's very hard to get through to him. I think he's uh, one of the best defenders I've seen in the uh, for Columbus uh, FC. For AC Columbus, because of uh, he just controls everything in the back. That's awesome. For the Aniago team. played the ball with the 50 yard line, so for himself with Vladimir. Vladimir looks at the ball, he says he says Cesra, but he doesn't see it. You know, he loses the ball, and it is um, um, Stan who plays the ball right there, and he tries it up, but it's in an offside situation. And this is the first time the number 18, Alamu, La, La the pole for FC Indiana has an opportunity to. Outside FC. Indiana, free kick, FC Columbus. Camara plays the ball right there, supporting with Vladimir. Vladimir looks up and he's a Kani, takes the ball, relax. He finds Charles. Charles looks at the ball. He says, You know what? I'm going to play with you slowly. Takes it back. James Moore plays the ball easy and finds Paniagua. <laughs> Pepsi, Indiana, keeper control the ball, takes a long shot, but it doesn't go anywhere more than the 50 yard line. It is Vladimir who hits it, hits it back right there into Charles, but he doesn't get to it. And it is Astan Sandoval who plays the ball, but he gets Paniago who at the end of the day gets the ball. James Moore plays it easy, slowly, takes a look, finds Charles. Charles says, you know what, Ezra, take it. No, it's the of that, you know what? Um, Cotney, relax, take the ball easy, Vladimir. And Charles moves in the middle of the field. He says, you know what? I'm going to control this midfield from now on. Plays with Nasiri. Nasiri looks out for Diallo. Diallo says, no, you know what? I'm going to play with Kabi. Only by right there with Ezra. Ezra looks for Paniagua. Paniagua has an ass for oh, the ball. Nice ball to the keeper. Oh. The camera, but he doesn't get to it. Again, uh, a long, uh, a long uh, pun by the uh, keeper that um, you know, I think out of the 20 times that 
Morales and he has planned that ball. They have not one have a possession of that ball. Uh, it is clear that the FC um, Indiana is still trying to figure out what is the style of the game that they want to play. You know, I don't think that physically or technically they are at the level of the FC Columbus. Well, no, I, I mean, uh, it's obviously that that's the case, but but uh, maybe just the talent is that Charles there. gets the ball, he plays it with James, James finds uh, Chilling, Chilling gets the ball right there, he gets into the 20 yard line, he needs a couple of moves with his back, he says, you know what, Charles, take the ball, I make it fake, I make the ball right there, it's in between um, Jimmy Ortiz, but it is well controlled by the Steven Munoz. Steven Munoz support himself with the number eight, you know, it's uh, Costa. Costa plays the ball right there up and up the field for Brandon McCarley. McCarley support himself right there with Tevin, seven Costa. Costa looks for the ball, but it is right in the 20-yard line, and he's looking for uh, Alaou. Alaou is there, but it's Cagney who defended the ball really well, and James Morton, and you know what, and you to rescue. Smart play, he doesn't want to force it there. It is FC Indiana trying to play the ball. It is the first time that the FC Indiana is playing the ball right there in the 40 yard lines of the FC Columbus. Yeah, that's a rare thing in the game. And then he does possession already Ezra now. He gets the ball and plays with Diallo. And Diallo plays the ball right there with Ezra. Ezra supporting himself with Charles. Charles looks up and says, You know what? Aniagua, take it. No, yeah, James Moore. I like you to get the ball. And it is Charles. And, and, and uh, Nasir. And long ball for Charles, and it is James running into the ball, but it is too long, it goes into Oka. Throw in FC Indiana. You know, as, uh, Luis, um, again, FC Columbus, under this temperature, they just rotate the ball, and they makes it more difficult for FC Indiana. That's right, and uh, keep up the possession, it's just going to uh, add a little stress that they haven't already physically for the heat, and for the possession that uh, FC Columbus is uh, able to keep and maintain. Long ball by Sandawa from next to Indiana, but it was controlled by Cagney. Cagney is tackled by James. James gets the ball. Cagney says it's mine, and he plays right there with Ezra. Ezra looks at the ball, plays the center. Larry Mir right in the back. And it is Paniagua. says, you know, I take up this for you, and let me play. Yeah, just at uh, this point, they, they, they should take it tack a little more and then just uh, capitalize on the... Cagney receives the ball right there. Charles asks for it. He gets it. You know, he says, you know what? Let's play right here. I need a couple of moves. Right. Find himself with chilling, chilling, it goes inside. Oh. But it's deep. What a, what a chance. Well received by the keeper. Well, well controlled by the keeper. Good defending. <laughs> Goal kick, FC Indiana. When Charles and Chilling want to connect, they definitely do it in a very smooth fashion. That's right, uh, and, and that's what's happening uh, the whole throughout the game, so I think that's amazing. I think that Chilling had a great yeah. chance of scoring the full goal in here, but you know, at the end of the day, it is just a matter of controlling the game. Exactly. And uh, they're doing a good job controlling it right there. James Moore in the 50 yard line, in the right side line. He looks out for Charles. He says, You know what? I'm going to play with Chilling. Chilling takes it, a couple of moves, and it is Chilling who takes the ball. And Nasir says, This is mine. Come on, give me a break. And James Moore makes him a ball, gets the ball right there, and he calls it outside. I don't think that ball was out, to be honest with you. Throw in FC Diana. Offside. FC Columbus free kick. FC Indiana's keeper come out to take his key. Kyle Bougain. He looks up. He says, "You know what? I'm going to make a long, long shot. And I'm going to try to look for number 18 over the roof. But it both this goes out of bounds." Throw in FC Columbus. Yeah, you know, uh, again, like the, we were saying earlier, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe they don't have any options. Well, exactly. You know, they know that the defensive line of SC Columbus is too strong, and they just can't figure out how to get the right. It is, you know, <clears throat> Ezra, who plays the ball right there, next inside the 20-yard line, goes in there, makes a pass right into center. Oh, my God, what a chance for Chile, who didn't get there, but it was. And Steven Munoz, who defended the FC. Um, Indiana from the number four goal. Yeah, that was some great moves that they have on there, and uh, that's uh, amazing that he Thank didn't score from there. Luis again, FC Columbus. Throw in FC Indiana. Easily, just as smooth. He just made the long pass, and right. they see the easy way of playing this game. You know, FC Indiana struggles to find to put two passes to the Exactly.
again, Vladimir in the back was uh, clearing that ball, and then he had a great pass and uh, controlled that defenders. You know, it seems like Rose is playing right full back, but he's attacking so much, he's like a Marcelo out there. He's playing really well, uh, attacking, and he's making a lot of struggle in this defensive for us in the Santiago plays the ball. So, so almost they feel like they're playing with three in the back, right? Because James kind of pushed up, yes, and right. And Paniagua is not playing, you know, uh, fullback, so he's a midfielder. So but he stays back. Yeah, he know, stays back. He plays both, because you know, he plays those numbers. Right, right. Plus, he's. Now, Siri plays the ball right there with um, James. James put back with Nasir. Nasir tries to take it over. Um, for James, but he doesn't move. Shelly Sark is the ball, but it is Steven Munoz for the FC of Indiana who takes the ball out into the 40 line, and it is really easy for FC Columbus to defend. There is no one from the FC of Indiana attack. Exactly. There is not, they don't have it. I mean, geez, four, three minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, plays the ball with um, Ezra. Ezra controls it with Haniagua. Back to Ezra. Back to James Moore. And it is Charles with the big ball. He says, you know what? Just support myself with Ezra. That's the simple way. Long ball for you know, camera who gives it in, but it is well controlled by the keeper of FC Indiana. Hey, that was a good run. I mean, uh... and I don't know if that's the strategy that the FC Indiana has, but every single time the keeper gets the ball, he's looking for number 18, uh, Anu Ladapo. Who is marked by two of the three of the players, so to, Never to, has been often. To, <laughs> to be able to grab that, trap that ball with three people in the U.S. is almost impossible. Aniagua easily controls the ball, pass it to Ezra, Ezra looks at um, Diallo, Diallo goes into it, he controls the ball, well defended, well played, there's a couple of moves, couple of fakes, gets him to the 18-yard line, but loses the ball to um, Steven Munoz. Steven Munoz is very solid back in defense for the FC Indiana. Again, Vladimir out of the back and was able to uh, uh, dispossess the guy from the ball and then it changed the whole if you can say counter attack. Yeah. James Moore crosses is the number 24 FC of Indiana. Plays a couple of moves. He, he gets to those players, but he loses it to Chilin. Chilin gets into it. He goes in and he goes in. He's the one to take it. Oh. Oh, You know, the difference with that is, remember the first game that we broadcast that uh, he missed three opportunities on the uh, second half? Yeah. The difference today is that he's converting those into goals. And you know, once again, it is obviously that you are practicing something and there is a system that the FC Columbus is playing. They are trying to figure out the life of the game that they want to play and they are showing it to them. Exactly. And uh, that's uh, uh, what a way to finish the season here in the uh, Grandview Stadium with a tremendous uh, uh, soccer lessons by FC Columbus. So FC Columbus winning 4 nothing in a very easy and slow fashion. Yeah, yeah. Um, although that some of the goals have been magnificent. They have, uh, yeah, absolutely. Chilling presses the ball right here. Try to get in it and it is uh, um, James Ortiz Rosario who tackled them and it is going to be a throw in for Don't forget the refreshment uh, stand uh, in the is open to throw in the FC Indiana. Refreshment pleasure. Serving water, pop, Gatorade, hot dogs. Steven Munoz. He plays the ball right there. He's a player in town with Stanley. Sandoval. Stanley gives the ball, looks out for and our pound of scarves. And he also has reduced prices today. Throwing FC Columbus. James says the players are pulling himself with Cagney right there in the return of their line. Looks for Paniagua. Easy. Doesn't move. Doesn't pressure. Paniagua, the guy with what is called bread and water. Yep. yep. Simple as that. You know, that defense line has been playing incredible. I mean, not one floor except for that, that little thing that happened in the uh, first 15 minutes, but uh, they've been just outstanding. They haven't had a lot of pressure on them. I'll, I'll no, give you that. But, but it's James who presses the ball right here in the 20 yard line. He looks a nice ball trying to burn a series, but it is Jimmy who dispenses the ball from the defensive line. Cogni gets it right there for Paniagua. 
Um, FC nice, uh, nice thought, but a little hard to pass and a little behind. Throw in FC Indiana. So, Luis, you know, I mean, it's like, I'm going to say 70% of ball control has been by the FC Columbus. I agree with you, if not more. Chilling against the ball right there from uh, Sandoval. He plays it with Charles. Charles goes up. Oh, tries to get it through. You know, uh, Charles plays it easy and simple and play with James who stuck it really well. Um, and it is a low who is uh, struggling from this foul from Charles. Oh, it looks like uh, one of the FC, Columbia, FC uh, Indiana is hurt. It, is a, it was a tackle right there, 50 50 between Charles and Alou. And Alou just didn't see it. You know, he wasn't ready for that tackle, and that's why he suffered that foul. But he, he didn't look at it, it was nothing serious. Vladimir played the ball right there with the uh, camera. Camera controlled the ball. You know, in the 45 minutes right there as we play an extra time. And it's Cogni looking at the ball. Keep your line. Just, you know what? Relax. Let's just play a little simple here. Plays it with James Moore. James Moore back to his keeper. Keeper finally sees the ball and says, you know what? I can actually be part of this game. Tanya in the middle of the field with Ezra. Ezra looks up, takes a couple of players out, plays a nice ball right here for Charles, who goes in into the 20-yard line. He gets in and make a long pass, and it is for camera, but it is behind. Yeah. He doesn't get to it, so instead it is Costa James, who gets the ball for James Indi for FC Indiana. He gets right there by the wild, but he loses the ball back to camera. Nice kick uh, pass by uh, Paniagua to uh, give it back. Uh, FC Indiana struggles to put two balls, two passes together. Exactly. I mean, they just basically they seem out of it. Charles make a nice move into Ezra, but he doesn't get to it. Instead of it is uh, Jimmy Ortiz who gets to the ball and looks for Sandoval. Sandoval plays with number 18, Duau, who supports himself with number 16, Brandon McCartney. McCartney looks about right there looking for Costa James. Costa James gets the ball back to Bradley. Bradley looks back and it is the first of the first half of this game, and it is FC Columbus for nothing. At the end of the first half, score is. Yeah, that's kind of amazing uh, the way that they play. We're looking to have another second half. We're putting a lot of, play, uh, you know, pleasure on the players, and then uh, we'll um, we'll figure. Uh, the Diallo says it is uh, Racine who gets the ball in the middle of the field. Back to Paniano. Back to the Back to Vladimir. Vladimir. Referee is calling something in here. Ball well, looks like it is not uh, in a well equipped tool for this game, so they're going to stop that and they're going to get ball. Yeah. Um. Um, so there are no goals. There are no balls. So, Martin, what do you tell that team when you go into a halftime in order to maybe change the way that things were done in the first half? I mean, how can you go about that? Well, I mean, it is very difficult for the FC of Indiana to try to figure out and change the dynamics of this game. That is, they don't have a team to compete. Right. So the only thing that I can tell these guys is, is you know what, let's continue to control the ball as much as we can, you know, control the energy, you know, defend as best as you can. Yeah, or... Yeah, because you cannot say, hey, let's get aggressive, let's play better, because they haven't played bad, they've just been outplayed. They've been outplayed because the FC Columbus is a much better team. You know, they, they um, even though the FC um, Columbus is the newer team, the right. new expansion to this league, they definitely are showing that they've been here for a while. Exactly. And it is the other who plays the ball, so Paul said with Vladimir, Vladimir goes up and he says, you know what? No, what about it. no need to, to yeah, no need to send it long. Back to you. You know, Ezra and Charles, Charles places, but to show couldn't get it. It is uh, Steve Indiana in the middle of the field, plays with um, Duau. Duau tries to get a long ball, but Vladimir gets to it, and he says, you know what, I'm going to support with my keeper. Easy. Yeah, that's an easy play, and he plays smart. They're just coming out of the back and now. Uh, he puts a long ball right there into Chilin. Chilin tries to find Charles, but he didn't get to it. And it's Paniago who plays with himself. Moves the ball and says, you know what? Oh! 
he would make a, a move to oh, Tamarab and Nasiri got in the middle of it. And now Nasiri is looking for um, Chilin. Chilin gets to the ball, controls it, looks out, tries to get out of the player, but he gets through it. And he says, you know what, right here, Nasiri get to it, but he didn't get to it. And the Steven Munoz hovers it and he goes yeah, out. A little too long the ball. So again, you know, um, it is um, 90 some degrees here at the Anderson Field Stadium. Goal kick, FC India. FC Columbus manages the tempo of the game. They control the energy. When they want to play fast, they play fast. When they want to play slow, they just simply do that. Well, and all, all great teams do that. I mean, if you can control the pace of the game, you can really determine, you know, who's going to be the ability to get what, what you need nice to get. Play by, uh, I guess the one is not the players, but it is going to be the first yellow card, possibly. No, it is just a warning. But you know what? Players like Camera. Free kick, FC Columbus. Players like Camera, they just so smart, you know, and they play top when they need to play top. Yeah, he I mean, was trying to get right there in between three defenders. <laughs> well, see, the physical ability of this team is amazing. I mean, they got some great athletes. Uh, good players, but some great athletes. And you know what? Not only they play good individually, they have a skill set as a professional football player, but they also play good as a team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can tell the chemistry of the team is very good. Um, they're... Uh, they're gener very generous with the ball, and then obviously uh, it has to do from uh, the coaching staff, uh, Seymour and Moss, and uh, I'm sure they do a really good job uh, handling those players. Now, you know, you and I grew up watching and playing the real football, you know, a, a game that they call soccer in the United States. Right. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just say it's football because I just try to remember, you know, the days when we play real football. Right. right? Um, and, and, and the real football for the rest of the world here in the U.S. is so. Right. So it is Paniago who is going to take the shot. And take you think, you think he's going to cross it? He's, 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 he's going to take it in. He's going to put it I in think so court. too. I think he's going to try to put it in the left uh, hand. Paniago right. is trying to figure out what is this defense uh, or what is going to do to uh, control this strike that I'm going to put in. And he goes for it. He takes a run. Puts it back in there, and it is go right there exactly where I thought it was going to, but the keeper controls it for a foul. Yeah, it was like, uh, well taken, but he needed to put a little more in the farther line. Uh, I don't think it was too much power on it. We just more right. trying to uh, place it in the right place. Right. It is a handball by Vladimir, but it is right at the 40-year line, and uh, FC Indiana is figuring out how, what can we do with this set piece? Yeah, they... Uh, Instead of that, he plays it with uh, his uh, captain, Alex, moves the ball right there to Sandoval. He plays a couple of moves, but loses to camera, and somehow it gets into the wall, number 18. Uh, Sandoval gets in it, but he didn't get and Ezra is going to take the throw. Throw in FC Columbus. Diallo plays it right there with Vladimir, who supports himself with Pagni. Pagni says, you know what, I'm going to take a long ball because I can see Shilling there, but he didn't get to it. And instead of that, it is Sandoval, and it's Steven Munoz plays it back to the keeper. Hey, that was, uh, that was a dangerous play that ball could have gone through, but uh, they don't really need to play it long. I don't know why they're necessarily doing that. They can't control it. They're not getting pressure at the back. But, you know, for the FC Colombo, they still need to continue to play the level of top because they don't want to um, lose up a little bit. You know, the right, last thing that right. you want to do is feel that you are winning the game for nothing. This team still needs to continue to work as if it is as competitive as possible with the respect of the FC Indiana, but at the same time to prove themselves that they can continue to play, you know, right. as strong as possible. Well, yeah, and the players want to do that. Um, that's a good uh, nice control by Shilly who goes in, in there and it is uh, tragic as a little bit on outside, but it is now controlled by the FC Indiana. Makes a couple of moves. That was uh, Jimmy for FC Indiana who makes a move to Brandon. Brandon plays it right there with uh, um, back to Brandon, the number nine uh, for FC Indiana. He's going to make a move, but it is cut with the defense really well and there's no control. It. And cross it and gets to James. James to Paniago. Paniago says, you know what, relax everybody. They're not going anywhere. I'm going to play with Chilin. Chilin plays the ball. Easy. Control. Nasiri says, give me a shot. But instead, he says, you know what? I'm going to hand on pass to camera. 
Yeah, that, that, that got to hurt, man. <laughs> you know, that's interesting. Uh, in a professional league or even the World Cup, that player would be rolling himself in the round to waste time. Well, you know, those guys who still haven't been given the theater show that they are um, that you used to see in the World Cup. Uh, those guys are tough and they've been really physical. And you know what? They're going to say, I can't handle that. Well, even in the amateur leagues, we don't really do that. It's embarrassing. So it is interesting, uh, obviously, to see, you know, the theater show that people call the bluff, you know, of the other player. And it is time to make some time to let it, you know, just kind of control the tempo. Ricky, I've seen the love I'm gonna have the ball again on the finger line on the left side. Here's a couple of moves trying to get through, but I was going off. I am in charge, but then um, the arrow coming in here, take a long pass, trying to get into the ball with Camara. Camara gets it, but they call it and it is a foul, and it is a penalty kick. And I think if Sandoval came back to the ball a little bit late. Without a doubt. I mean, he made full contact with the player before he even touched the ball. Now, we were talking about theater right there, so you think that that is a glove right there, if that was a real. Uh, I heard it from here, I know it's real. So that right there is exactly what happened in the World Cup. Sometimes it's hard to read if it is a right. love or right. if it's an actual foul right. or what, what really took place. So, so what's the new, the new sister's name for the World Cup? <laughs> the fan? That's what they call the VAR, right? Yeah, yeah. You know? right. Bar. That is the video assistant referee. Referee, which has wow. is, been crazy. Tell me some numbers about that. Well, no, as theoretically speaking, you know, obviously this is an amazing... Um, um, before we talk about this, let's go to this penalty. Okay, okay. So okay. Charles is going to take this, and Charles is already... I mean, so, is he the guy who takes, takes about making a move? Nice. Go! Great penalty shot taken. But you know what? Very simple. You know, Charles is solid. You know, he takes a couple of steps back. He takes the run and pushes it right there in the corner. The keeper went on, but it wasn't uh, fast enough. The ball was just well put in. Okay, now it looks like we're going to get it in. Uh Stop here. Uh, we have two players going in. Uh, as I told you, that's a great idea. Get these guys some play time and see what we can do with the... Uh, for the FC Columbus, we may see a couple of players coming in, so we will see who these guys are coming in. Looks like Paniagua is going to take a break. I mean, Paniagua well is going to play a great game, you know, and instead of that, he's going number 13. Uh, we will find out who number 13 is here. I think it is Bang Bangura. I think it is the player that is coming in. Right. And then we look at number 15 also warming up, and I believe the number 15 uh, has played... Um, We will let you know, guys, in a couple of minutes, who number 15 is coming in for the second round. So it's going to be a throw in for uh, FC Columbus. So Omar Kamara is going to come in and throw a lead that's coming in for Nasiri or maybe Charles. Oh no, it's, uh, yeah, Nasiri, exactly. Nasiri is coming out and Omar Kamara is coming in. Boy, Nasiri had a great game today. I think he uh, physically is very capable. He controlled the center midfield. Very good. So it is um, Diallo who plays the ball right there with Vladimir. Vladimir looks out for Ezra. Ezra says, you know what? I'm going to play right here with my new guy. You know, he's going to get the back. Nasiri makes a couple move. Nice fake. And he plays the ball right there to John, James Hammond. Uh, or James Moore. Right? Moore. Right? James Moore was looking for Chillen, but Chillen didn't know what was going on. Instead of that, it is Jimmy uh, for the FC. Um, Throw in FC Columbus. So in, in, in Colombia, we will call it James Moore. James Moore. Yeah. <laughs> it is James, it's Jimmy Moore. Right? <laughs> yep. So it is now another shot, and uh, we're looking at him here as uh, Ezra is coming out 
and then we have the number 17 coming in, which says, um, uh, I think it is uh, Yeah, that's right, that's right. Number 17, this mark, Ayakon, replaces throwing FC Columbus. It is a long pass right there looking for um, Stanley uh, Sandoval, but he didn't get to it, and instead it was our uh, FC Columbus scooper. Throwing, FC India. Alex throws it long in here for um, Sandoval. Sandoval doesn't get there. Instead, it's Connie. Connie plays it easy, simple with the Allen. The Allen moves the ball right there in his right side. Looks for camera. Camera makes him move. Looks up and he says, Come on, give me a blow. And it is uh, uh, Mama So. Oh, great nice ball. ball right here. Um, so it is. Um, almost Kamara was trying to get to the ball, but he didn't get to it. Yeah, it was a well-played ball, and uh, just uh, ooh, that's a foul there. It took him down. Keep the Columbus uh, FC Columbus keep dominating the ball now. They're trying to press. They're playing the whole game in the other in FC Indiana's half. That's what you want to do, even when you're leading. Ooh. Oh, the Arlo takes a really nice cross, cross in, but uh, Chilin didn't get to it, and Camara didn't get fast enough. Yeah, that was a good play right there, and then well controlled by the Camara. Camara fights it. Gets it to Charles. Charles finds Camara. Little Camara right there. Gets into the 18 yard. Oh, oh right. goal! Right. FC Columbus! What a great goal! The Manny Camara, who controls the spaces in a very small place, takes a couple of defenders out and makes a nice, easy touch. The keeper just couldn't do anything. I mean, he drew through six people in about four yards all around. It's incredible the amount of the and skill. That was in three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, I tell you what. Well, you know, again, we were talking about throughout the whole game, you know, the challenges that it's in Indiana has playing a team as solid um, as FC Columbus has playing this game. So, you know, it's somewhat demoralizing, you know, when you're coming in here and it doesn't matter what you do, you want to do it right. Yeah, and uh, to think that, that you still have 30 minutes to go and uh, just, it's and, it really right. And you know what, I don't think FC Indiana has taken one single shot to um, Johnson who's great, who has been a lot of spectator. Right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so it is uh, Camara right there looking for the ball, and he finds himself a good night. Camara, number 11, he makes a couple moves, it's okay, go for it. And it is uh, Papi Bob who gets into number 17, makes a nice cross, and it is a nice finish, but again going. And it was the other Camara, which is uh, uh, Omar Camara. Omar, that was a good run, he was just uh, at the left side of the post, kind of like tough thing, you really have to square your hips. And, and switch him around, and uh, now they are they want to. Chilling, tries to take him, but it's going to be a corner kick. But it was a disaster from the defensive line of that city, Indiana. Yeah, you got to learn how to create that ball out of there, man. Yeah, just don't give it to the guys who know what to do with it. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Yeah, that's a lack of, uh, again, a lack of concentration there. I mean, um, well, you know, I mean, we, you know, we've been talking about the temperature here at the Anderson Field Stadium. You know, it is 90 some degrees with the temperature in the field over the hundred. I mean, how these guys stay physically strong? I mean, his legs are full of toes, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, and, and chasing the ball as much as they have for the whole game. How do you keep that team playing? That's very. Uh, very so he throws the ball in the 20 yard line, he makes a couple of moves for him to come up, but he doesn't get there. And it is Alex who makes the ball out, but he plays with Luis Hernandez. Luis Hernandez is James Ward. Makes a long ball into the goal, and he gets his cameras. Camara takes a shot right there, and he's about. And he's okay, so I can do it again. Give it to Camara. Camara gets it right there. And he puts it in, but it is low far. Ah, uh, it was a good idea. I just couldn't get it right. 
But you know, I mean, okay, and either, you know, crossing the line, you know, all these balls from side to side, yeah. FC Indiana just can't handle those balls. Go kick, FC Indiana. Yeah, they can't. Really, they, they, I mean, they should clear the ball. FC Columbus controlled the ball with Cardi right there in the 40 yard line on their own side with Vladimir, Vladimir Ruiz for Luis Hernandez who gets in the zero for Paniagua who ran out take a break. And it is um, um, Baba Duo who plays with Camara. Camara plays it to the Alo the Alumni is a long run right there into the 18 yards. What a nice finish, what control. Goal! FC Columbus! What a great goal, Martin. Another one, they just uh, playing that. Great. Incredible. They play it simple, nice control right there in the two yard line. You know, it makes a move, the keeper couldn't do anything. It is, I mean, seven nothing. Yeah. You know, what do you expect? You know, it is um, very difficult for FC um, Indiana to be able to control, um, you know, the well ball control that FC Columbus is displaying in this game today. Well, and, and this, and as a coach, if you have that a big margin, you cannot tell a player. Hey, take it easy now. We already beat him by seven. So you and then everybody's playing for a position and everything. So you think although, although, Luis, you know, there has been an argument that in the World Cup when uh, um, England is beating Panama mm -hmm. by nothing, right. the uh, Panamanian coach went and talked to the uh, English coach and said, can you slow down a little bit? That yeah. is the rumors of that place. Yeah, I, I never heard of that. I mean, uh, I'm very courageous by... Uh, by uh, if you notice, they were not able to do anything more in the second half. They just right. one goal. But again, you know, here is where we are, in the third league division on the MLS uh, Soccer in the United States. We join a great afternoon at right. uh, uh, Anderson Hill Stadium. And we see an FC Columbus that really does what they need to do when they do it really well. I'm going to tell you something. So I play in the amateur leagues as we did as well. League here, uh, just in the, uh, uh, you know, the recreation leagues. And uh, FC Columbus could beat any one of those teams. I'm not sure if this FC Indiana could beat any, anybody of those clubs that are right now playing on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, and you look at how the FC Columbus is playing, trying to replicate what Cincinnati United have done for the last few years. Yeah and be able to um, expand a franchise over to the MLS. Well, I tell you what, this team, uh, on a good day for this team, it could give the Columbus crew a, a fight. Or it could give a fight for their dollars. Yeah, oh, I mean, absolutely, it's... absolutely. Mm -hmm. They continue to play, move the ball the way they do, you know, there are chances. So it is a, a corner kick uh, for FC Columbus. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Luis Diallo is gonna go and take this one, um, as well as, um, it looks like JJ is going to go into. Uh, it's an email song, the number 17 player. Email song. Number 17 player. The ball is being played right there at the 20 yard line. And the kid who has him gets a throw and into it. And it is nice. Go! Great goal. Moore, Jake Moore from the left side puts a really nice ball inside the 18 yards and Camara puts a bicycle kick right in the corner. The goalkeeper just couldn't do anything. What a beautiful finish. And right here we are now 8-0. to zero. FC Columbus dominating here from the beginning to now. And they just don't see if there's something they have any way to stop. Or right. Slow no way. No way to stop them. In fact, I think the Columbus, FC Columbus has created more momentum now than before. So it is number 16, John Bain coming in. John Bain is from um, Uruguay, correct? Right, right, right. He uh, played at, uh, I think, at Yale University. I think that's where he graduated from. And now he's playing at this uh, with these guys. He's sort of like a player coach. Uh, the number 17's uh, name that you were looking for, his name is B Bismarck Ajiaman. 
So it is uh, Stanley Zandoval taking this kick right here from the 30 yard line. Uh, and it is one of the first set pieces that uh, FC Indiana has. So let's see what they can do here. Boy, at uh, this point, I'm telling you, I'm hoping that they can do uh, something. Something. It's a round person right there, but it is controlled by Luis. And he goes back into the keeper, and it is uh, tr um, throwing to the keeper. Don't kick. FC Columbus. Vladimir gets the ball right here from the 10 yard line. He looks in here and says, You know what? I am going to play with my good friend, um, Michael Chilton. And it is there where he plays it with Luis um, Hernandez. Hernandez. Moves the ball to James Moore. Luis says, Come back. I'm here. I'm open. Give me a chance. And there is. Uh, 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 Bismarck, argument man playing with the ball, he played with number 17, support himself with uh, Vladimir. Vladimir right there with uh, John Bear who touches the ball for the first time. Luis Fernandez gets it, right in the middle of the field, he makes a couple of moves, long ball right there for uh, number 17 in Malzahn, and he goes in there, but he didn't get to it. Goal kick, FC India. Yeah, it's interesting, the, uh, the amount of pressure that uh, the poor team is feeling right now, uh, with eight goals already in the scoreboard, uh, what do you tell them as a coach? I guess what I will do and that's other players because I've been there is like leave it all in there. Sandoval plays the ball, makes a long pass right there, looking for Brandon McCauley, but he doesn't get to it, and it is Corny and plays with Vladimir, and supporting himself with Luis Hernandez, number 13. He looks, uh, hey, you know what, just relax. So it's funny right here, very simple. Corny looks up, way back to Luis, Luis back to him. Simple play, long ball right there, looking for camera. Camera gets to the ball, he gets in it, and he goes back in inside, and 18 year line on the left side, and he's coming in, so the goalkeeper comes out. But it is well defended by the keeper. John Bain gets the ball. He says, you know what? Take a shot right here. Well saved by the keeper. And it is uh, uh, Jimmy Rosario who takes it out for an outside. And it is still in play. Now it is an out. Throw in. Throw in FC Columbus. Well, you know, a couple of great plays right here with camera and supporting there. John Bain comes in and takes a good shot. Well played by the goalkeeper. So, you know, after losing eight nothing, you know, we see the goalkeeper now doing a couple of great saves. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I thought Camaro could have done a lot better with that ball because I, we had a couple of players that show up for the cross and uh, to receive the cross, but they never got it. Camara supporting several Luis. Luis looks out for Jay Moore. He didn't get there. It is Jimmy who defends well. Running for the FC Columbus. He says, you know what, John, just take it right here. Luis, why don't you help it right there? Look for camera, camera gets around the finger line on the left side, a nice pass over there, uh, but it is an offside situation. Offside, Valencia Columbus, free kick, FC Indiana. Goalkeeper, get ready to go ahead and take out, take it. Uh, Take care of the ball. They they want to keep possession at this point. Uh, Martin, I think that uh, uh, at this point, as a coach, I kind of laid that back a little bit, if I could. Um, Seventy-one minutes into this game, FC Colombia has played the ball relatively easy. Long pass right there, we looking for the you know, uh, chilly, chilly of the day of it doesn't get to it. So it is a uh, it's it was a good trap. I mean, at that speed, that was uh, very very tough to do. Corner kick, FC Columbus. The game this morning between Russia and Spain <laughs> was decided by penalty kicks. And this afternoon's game between Croatia and Denmark is now into penalty kicks. John Bain is going to take this corner kick. He looks up, relax. The referee 
is his play. He runs, he takes a launch over there inside the yard. It is well defended by Jimmy, number 13 for FC Indiana. And there is uh, Diaw who gets it pretty well. We surround the support. Nice ball against oh, Diaw, but it's too long. Little fast, a little long, but uh, good idea, good idea. Goal kick, FC Indiana. We have a, now, a World Cup game going on right now, and it is in penalty kicks, and it is the most beating for the issue so far. Um, so, two out of three goals. Two will miss. Wow. That happened to, uh, to Spain early today. Brandon played the ball right there. He tries to find number 20 for the city of Indiana. He, he looks for the ball. It is challenged by James Ward, but he finds himself with his good, good, good friend right there. Um, the wild, the wild takes a long shot. It is well played. Uh, gives it to number 20, makes it cross. He says, no, I'm going to make a couple of moves. Support himself back into uh, Alex, but he didn't get to it. And he takes a long shot, and it is out. Um, you know, for a for a minute, if Steve Indiana was able to put maybe three or four passes together, yeah, it's uh, they're not capable to do that. Goal kick, FC Columbus. Now they're going into a water break. It is the second water break here in the uh, Anderson Field between the game and between FC Columbus and uh, FC uh, Final regular season home game. Andy is half price. And there is a reduced, reduced price for the fan apparel of Scars. As you think about the winter and how cool that will be. We are on a water break here in the uh, Anderson Field Stadium with FC Columbus is dominating this game and is beating FC Indiana 8 0. Alright, so we have some great uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday soccer games in the World Cup. We have uh, Monday coming in uh, Mexico, Brazil. What do you think about that? You know, that's going to be a tough challenge for Mexico to prove that they deserve to be in the round of sustain and for Brazil to prove that they are a uh, favorite for this World Cup. Yeah, uh, you know, player for player, Brazil has a great team, obviously. Um, we were talking early with the coach from NC Columbus and he was saying that it all depends how well they played in the midfield. Right, and you know, that is going to be the differentiator if Mexico can control the midfield, you know, um, that is going to be important for them uh, to have chances to be Brazil. Uh, coming up tomorrow. And then Colombia playing England is going to be like a clash of two styles. Uh, you know, England playing long balls, Colombia want to play a little bit and attack it. What do you think that's going to happen there? Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I hope Colombia can demonstrate that winning that group that was very competitive, you know, and pretty even, they can come in and, and demonstrate that against a team like England. I don't think England is discounted, you know, that they struggle to play against Belgium. But at the end of the day, you got to play the game in paper. It looks like England may be favorite, but I hope that Colombia can demonstrate that they're capable of winning uh, another game in the round of our system. Well, and what I like about our chances is that um, they very, have very good athletes in the back. And, you know, we have a, a, one of our centers guy that is a 6'5", played for uh, Barcelona. Yeah, Yuri Mina, who's solid, who has scored two goals already. He is just demonstrating that his uh, value has increased in this um, World Cup. Well, that's going to help us in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the air, anyway. Right. So we go back into this game. And corner kick, be, FC Columbus. It is going to be a, a corner kick. Uh, John Bain is going to take this one here from the right side. So he's getting ready, make a move. 
Uh, right inside the 18 yards, well defended, well defended by Jamie from the LC the Indiana. And Brandon controls the ball at the 20 yard line. He says, slow it down. You know, he gives it to Sandoval. Sandoval has been running like crazy in this game. But it's very difficult for him to play and be able to compete against players like Diallo, who continues to play very well in his defensive line of FC uh, Columbus. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, that's a good uh, statement saying that they just control in every part of the, any aspect of the game, physical ability, passes, scoring, uh, you name everything. Luis, we're looking in here, we're looking in here at the walkout, and it looks like uh, out of the five uh, penalty kicks, Denmark missed three and only scored two. So now it is Croatia that needs to score, they need to try to see if they score here, they probably advance to the round out. Wow, that's amazing. They score, so Croatia is in. You know, the amazing thing about that, uh, everybody thinks, uh, you know, you play soccer, the penalties are easy, but, you know, depends on the pressure that you put on. Look at what happened to Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, the two best players in the world. They both missed penalty shots in this World Cup. Yeah, yeah, they did. So, um, you know, the best players in the world misses penalty kicks. Um, so, and when you defy, uh, decide a game on penalties, it's very difficult after playing 120 minutes. Um, but here they are, you know, so now Croatia is advancing. And in the meantime, we are here back in the um, um, Anderson Field Stadium. And John Bay has a nice move. Oh, man. That was a what good a nice yeah. play by John Bay from the long pass. Uh, from uh, Michael Chilton. Yeah, JJ is uh, that Uruguayan style, you know, he uh, that's the second time that he created opportunity by healing the ball to another player inside the box. So there is another corner kick right here at that uh, Anderson Field, and it is FC Columbus. He continues to control and manages the tempo of this game, you know, in a 90 plus degrees. Corner kick, FC Columbus. Yeah, calls and puts the one right in the 18-yard line, and it is uh, John Bain who controls it in the 20-yard line. He says, you know what, relax, I'm just going to play the back in there. Tried to put it in there for camera, but he didn't get to it. And it is uh, <clears throat> uh, Brandon McCauley who makes a couple of moves, fights the ball right there with John Bain, and then it is a foul, and it looks like John Bain is going to get a yellow card. Uh, maybe not. He's going to give him a warning. No, he didn't. The yellow card. Come from behind, tackle him. I don't see the need for that. No, I don't. I didn't think so either. Break kick, FC Columbus. There is a team that is winning. FC Nat, I'm sorry. Oh. The referee says we haven't I haven't called it yet. Relax. Bring the ball back in here. Yellow card for John Bain from FC Columbus. FC Indiana playing the ball right here. Try to find uh, Bradley, who is, seems to be one of the masses together for that FC Indiana. Uh, finds um, <coughs> uh, number 18 well. Takes a shot, but he can't get to it, so he's all out of bounds. Yeah, he was leaning in that shot. When you're leaning, your body's leaning, yeah, then the, you're going to have that uh, ball elevating itself. Rashid Sinagi, a uh, play for FC Indiana, who um, hasn't been seen much in this game because they just haven't had a chance to do much in their offensive time. Right, right. Yeah, it's hard to judge how good the different forwards are because they really don't even have a lot of balls passing to them. Anything they threw their way was a long ball 50 50. So. Luis Hernandez plays the ball, looks right there for camera, plays right there with uh, Bismarck. Bismarck nicely threw it in there for John. John puts it back right there to Bismarck, he gets it in and tries to make it cross, but it was defended by Jimmy Rosado from SC Indiana. Throw in for FC Columbus. Yeah, it looks like the player got a little. Nag there, he's having a hard time getting out, but now the referee is giving him the hand and uh, helping him out. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously his, his leg was a little bit uh, too far from him, and that's what the tackle took place. He's more a long throw in, and then he's shooting the trucks that he headed, and they both keep their controls, so no problem. No problem there. Um, 
there was a little loop that the keeper was able to pick up easier, and he didn't have anybody challenge him either. So. And here he is with the long kicks, backing the earth, looking for Sandoval, but the other game is the ball really easy. Finds it with Camara, Camara through with Alex, Luis uh, Hernandez, back with the earth to Camara. Camara's going to take a show, he goes in there, but the ball is too long, and he goes out of bounds. Yeah, you know, he could have cut it back in, but uh, he thought maybe he can go around the player. He tried, but it was just a little bit too long. Go kick, I've seen the other. Yeah, it was um, what a way to lose that, um, that round of 16 for... Um, for Denmark? Yeah, for Denmark. You know, again, it proved right there that this World Cup is very solid because Croatia has been a solid team. But you know, these um, uh, Scandinavian countries are solid, defending. They're physical, they're very disciplined. And that is one thing that uh, it has impressed me of these Scandinavian countries like Sweden, you know, Switzerland and, and uh, Switzerland and uh, Denmark. Belgium. Belgium, absolutely. You know the interesting thing about those uh, thing, uh, those teams is that they're not only very poised and organized, but they have good temperaments. There's not a lot of hot head players that you could think. You know, you, if you look somebody like, uh, for example, the center uh, for Real Madrid that plays for Croatia, uh, Madrid. Madrid. I mean, that guy is just uh, on hand. Everything is just a hard work, man. He, from Germany, yeah. you know, uh, Casemiro. Yeah, uh, from Brazil. Brazil. Which he, uh, he's having a good World Cup, I think, too, controlling that centimeter. He's like the enforcer of Brazil. He is, you know, but uh, sometimes he comes a little strong and he can get some yellow cards and that could compromise uh, Brazil. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I have my chances with Mexico moving on on this round and taking Brazil out. Let's see what happens. Uh, I uh, really for the South American countries since I'm from there, so... Uh, we have Uruguay, Colombia, and obviously Brazil already in there, uh, ready to move forward, I hope. Yeah, definitely. We'd like to see the South American country win the World Cup. Um, right now, the chances are in favor of the European countries, uh, because they have more, game, more teams still in uh, right. advancing. But we will see it uh, at the end of the day, you know, yeah. once you play the games. Right. And Uruguay just threw already, so... Exactly. So in the meantime, here at uh, Anderson Field Stadium, FC Columbus dominating FC Indiana, a nothing. You know, and it is just basically, you know, um, a relaxing uh, last few minutes for FC Columbus. Uh, although FC Indiana is still thinking that you know what we can do something in here, but you know, the physical level of the FC uh, Columbus is just. Surpassing that stadium. By far, by far. Uh, like I say, even players like JJ, who already graduated from college, he's in his mid 30s, he's uh, playing most of those young kids. Long ball looking for camera right there, but it is Alex from the FC Indiana who heads it out for a throw in FC Columbus. I think JJ was a little upset in the middle of the field because he wanted to just play short, play simple. Yeah, yeah for when you have When you have a guy open 10, 10 yards from you, why would you send a 40 yard pass? And you know, this Martin see that. So here is Luis Fernandez controlling the ball. Looks like, you know what? Uh, I think that easy and simple with Cagney. Cagney right there finds his good that this one. This one plays right there with camera. Simple touches, one in, one out. Camera turns around, trying the 35 yard line. So he takes himself, finding Luis Fernandez, trying the 30 yard line. He says, you know what? Diallo, let's do something and give me a ball back right there. But instead of that, he goes around with it and loses it to Sandoval. And now it is a uh, foul against Free kick FC Indiana. And he's a foul in favor of FC Indiana. Yeah, that was a little unnecessary, I think. And then uh, the other player was going to check hands and he didn't want to check hands. I hate to see that on a, a soccer field. Yes, he, he has nobody asking him for the ball. No. Alex for FC Indiana, long ball right there looking for somebody that he found the other from the FC Columbus and plays the ball. Simple and easy to Vladimir yeah. to support himself with Cogni. Long ball right there looking for Chilling. Chilling fights it with Brandon. Brandon takes it. Nice ball right there for Awao. 
number 18, who is looking for Rashid. Dodge made the ball right there, but Cogni just comes out with that ball. Really simple in place. And then support himself, but he makes a long pass. Again, again, I don't know why they complicate him that's all so much. It's easy, simple passes that he could have put it to his uh, left fullback. Yeah, but unfortunately, let's see, Indiana just don't have any counter-attack. Right. So even if they gain in the ball, right there, it's just not, they don't have an option, I think, that it should be a center. Columbus long pass right there to Sandoval who can force it really well. Especially can move to take a shot, but he's well blocked. And then it's a nice throw in for number 20 who goes out. And then it's a throw in. Goal kick, FC India, FC Columbus. James Moore plays the ball right there. Moves it to 30 yards. Columbus. Simple, 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 yeah, they are completely physical, exhausted. Two remaining games. Well, you know, I see that Indiana just doesn't have any more legs, you know. Right. It's basically it's slowly just trying to do something. Here. What a nice ball for Sandoval, but Vladimir gets through it and simply controls the ball with, and supports so it's got. Well, I like the way that Vladimir plays that ball just nice and easy, you know. Pamela runs the ball, makes a couple of fake moves, you know, very simple, so going to with camera, right in the third year line, find John Bain, John Bain to camera, camera says, you know, Diallo plays it, but instead of that is uh, the other camera, they have two play with Diallo, and then moves the ball back inside to Luis Hernandez. Yeah, they're going to switch it around and pass it around, it's time for, there's only two minutes left in the game, less, well, they probably have about two minutes extra time, you think? I would be surprised if they get more than one minute, but uh, at the end of the day, this has been a really nice and easy win for the FC uh, Columbus. Well, because the water break ride takes a little bit. Is there a goal differential making any difference in this league? I, I, I'm sure that has to do something with it, so yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, I know that FC uh, Indiana has lost several games, but I, I can't imagine this is for more than eight goals. Sandoval gets into this ball, maybe with a chance, he's going to take a key, but instead he turns around. He tries to get to it, but he didn't get to it, so he gets up. Uh, it is Carlos Camara who controls the ball and plays back right there with um, Cogni. And Cogni moves into the third himself with the other camera. Luis Hernandez, simple. Yeah, you can tell they're just completely out of legs, man. I, I, it's tough playing like that because... Nice ball for chilling, who it is in an offside situation. Offside FC Columbus, free kick FC India. If we figure out how much um, time the uh, referee is given. No, he hasn't mentioned anything at this point, but um, once again, we're going to uh, thank the folks from uh, Columbus Aldea Media in uh, Media Columbus who, through television, through uh, Telemundo and Boston Television. We're going to be able to show you some of these games. Next season is going to be a great season for us. And then we're hoping that we can grow this league into a major league soccer, right? Absolutely, Luis. I mean, it's like I think that um, FC Columbus has an opportunity right here, the way they are playing this game, to compete. So I would like to see them playing with Cincinnati United, you know, having some of the friendly games and uh, continue to show what they're capable of. Well, and there's a possibility that we play in the Open Cup. I mean, I don't know how that mechanically works, but, uh, you know, that's when FC, Col FC Cincinnati beat Columbus Crew. That's right. That's that right. was last year, yeah. So it is Carlos Camara making a move right here, making a nice play, puts it right inside the 18, but he gets it into Vermont, makes a shot. Goal! Right there inside. Go. You know, Luis, it's just a game, playing the simple game, right? Right. You know, I think that FC Indiana makes it hard for themselves. Yeah. Uh, at this point, like I say, if you have no legs, the first thing that goes is your, you know, your skill. Right. So. And, um, 
a couple of moves, yeah. you know, from German, and then Mason moves to Chile, who is right there in right. the seven-yard line, and just simply touches it right there in between the two defenders. You know, the interesting, I mean, if you think about it, uh, have you ever lost a game and they have to get in a bus for about three, four hours and then uh, or more, and that's a tough trip back home. Yeah, especially in this kind of temperature, you know, so it is this, uh, the, the, unfortunately for the FC Indiana, but uh, I think that this game was just basically one team, you know, right. fun dominating from um, the end to the end. And here and we are. That's the end of the game. Luis, again, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here with you in the new game. Absolute Columbus dominates this game all the way. Nine to zero. I mean, what do you say about that? Well, I tell you, it just, uh, if you don't have the talent in your team, you can't have a decent game against a team like FC Columbus. So, at the end of the day, our talent was superior, uh, more, more physical team, more fit team. We had a better coaching. Uh, anything that could have gone against that, those guys, it went against them. And so, it's a crazy, crazy thing. So, so, where do we go from here? This is the last home game to the FC Columbus. Right, right. They dominated this game. Right. So, do they have any chance of advancing into the second round, or what is it that they go for? I, I think that uh, there will be a chance. There's a couple of things that has to happen, so we will keep you a little more informed. Uh, I know that Gustavo uh, doing the show in uh, Columbus and Dia will be able to inform the people, especially the Hispanic uh, uh, you know, audience. Yeah, they're going to be able to announce that. And then there's a chance that we're going to qualify in the Open Cup. The problem with that, uh, Martinez, is that some of those players are going to go back to college. So soon that you're in college, you're allowed to play in the Open Cup. But they're going to lose a couple of players, but most of those guys are not in college material. Well, you know, I am, I am living seen and, and enjoying a really good FC Columbus. I, am, I feel good about their future right. and the chances perhaps in the future seeing them playing in the second division of the MLS. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Well, I uh, would like to thank Wilder for helping us out with this uh, broadcast. Also, Alberto, Martin Gallo, como siempre, uh, fuerte, fuerte, strong. And so we just wanted to give everybody a heads up. Uh, the next game is not going to be here. This is a last of a horror game, but we're going to come next season strong. And we got a great, brand new group of people, the broadcasters, who are going to be delivering some great, uh, great times. Uh, Martin, what do you say to us? Who's winning the World Cup? Right now, it's, uh, the favorites are Brazil and Belgium. So uh, they are going to have to fight against each other. From the other side, uh, Sweden. Uh, I hope that Colombia gets to it. Um, but we will see. So at the end of the day, I think in Belgium probably will be the team. Uh, my, dude, my two teams will be Uruguay and Colombia. Hey, listen, everybody, thank you so much for uh, watching us uh, this great FC Columbus victory with a uh, score of 9-0. to zero. We'll see you later. Thank you.